I want to welcome you to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up, people? How you doing? We are in conjunction with so many different people like the DuPont Network, Late Night with Yaya Diamond, LWR TV, The Village. Um, oh my gosh, we got The Right Place. We got Roku, Amazon Fire. We got Women to Women TV, True Eye Network. I mean, I can keep going. I can keep going. But the biggest thing is that we are reaching people all over the world. And I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in. We are just now getting on LG and Samsung and all different kinds of places as well. And we just picked up two more million people watching the show, which is amazing. So thank you for my two million new people watching. I love you. I love you. I love you. Actually, I love you. And Dwayne Ricks is here today to talk about his book, it's the magic pants, man. It's the magic pants. I want to show you. I want to show you. I thought that these pants were just the cutest thing. It's the ugly magic pants. I'm sorry. I don't think they're ugly, though. I think they're cute. I actually like them. Look at those pants. Those are the cutest pants ever. I mean, I remember back in the day, back when my my, my grandmother used to dress me, we had pants like that. That was not ugly at all. <laughs> but it is ugly for today's, yeah. I guess, standards. So, Mr. Ricks, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you so very much. And uh, I just, I wanted to ask you, yeah. you know, how long have you been writing? Uh, well, I started in college, kind of dabbled with it and uh i really haven't done a lot until i got retired and then i had more time to work on it so and so like you know what did you do before you became a writer or did you become a writer during what you were doing i mean how did that happen for you well i, I was a mailman for 29 years i was too busy to write then because i <laughs> support the family but anyway got a little more retired after that had more time to write so i Got more into it. <laughs> I hear that. I hear that. Now, let me ask you a question. Why did you call it the ugly pants? Uh, it just sounded like a good title. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't think that they were ugly. You just thought that it was a good title. Oh, that is so cute. That yeah, so well. Cute. I think they're cute. The guy in the story calls them ugly, so. <laughs> okay, well. Okay, well, then that's his thing. That's his thing. So let me ask you this big, the big question is, it, what is the conflict in this story? What is what is the story about? I mean, the ugly pants, great, but the ugly magic pants, right? Uh, in it. order, well, in order for the magic to work, you have to follow certain rules. I guess if you don't follow the rules, then the pants don't work. That's the conflict. Plus, <clears throat> Ben is the guy in the story, and uh, he's having a hard time making ends meet or getting enough money to live on so sounds like all up. <laughs> it sounds like today conflict yeah. no money conflict how do you make it okay <laughs> yeah. i need some magic pants ugly magic pants i definitely need some <laughs> ugly magic pants <laughs> yeah so what was the idea behind this how did you come up with this well i went to the store one time and uh had a bunch of stuff I needed to buy, and I ended up when I went to cat, uh, check out, I didn't have enough money to pay for all of it, so I had to put some of the stuff back. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be fun if you could just reach in your pocket and get whatever money you needed? That was kind of the idea, but uh, well, it's not that simple. You got to follow rules. <laughs> yeah, you do have to follow rules, definitely. How long did it take you to write the book? That was about six months, mm. and then another six months to get it published. But wow, is there a paradox? Yeah, the paradox is that uh, something worthwhile is not always easy to obtain. Mm. I get you. That's true. That I think that's true in life. I think that's really true in life. I mean, I don't. I don't know of anything. I mean, the ugly pants just seems like life to me. It just seems like I want to have a pair of pants. I can reach in and pull out a wad of money. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, want, I want magic pants. And when I pull out, when I get a cut on my finger, I want a band aid. I mean, literally speaking, right. that would be kind of cool to have magic pants. So whatever you reach in your pocket for, it, it's there. As long as it's not like a convertible or a car or anything, I don't think they can fit. Uh -huh. 
Okay. But that's kind of cool. So let me ask you a question with this book and everything. And I absolutely love the concept of the ugly magic pants. You know, where did you get the idea for the cover of the book? Because, you know, I'm looking at it. You got fireworks, got a guy, he pulls out the money out of his pants. It's like, he's looking like, what the heck? (laughs) Well, I found a photography friend of mine and uh, works up at the university here. Got him to take the pictures, and he thought to make it look more magical, put the fireworks behind the the guy. I just thought of like of the guy reaching in, pulling out money, and looking really surprised or excited. I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to have a pair of pants like that. So I went to a seamstress friend of mine and had her make the pants. What? They're I real got them hanging. I got them hanging in my closet. <laughs> no way! Show them to me. Where are they? <laughs> well, it'd take a couple of minutes to go get them, but go we'll get them. I want to see them? the pants. They're the magic <laughs> okay. pants. I mean, I want to see the pants. They're like that's yeah. really cool. And while he goes to go and get those pants, we're going to be going ahead and taking a short break. Don't you guys go anywhere. We'll be right back. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Uh, oh my gosh, we got the pants. Oh no, what? Ah! Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're a little, little tight for me, otherwise, I'd put them on. But. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Anyway. <laughs> Isn't that cool to have that memorabilia of a of a book that came to life? I mean, what if what yeah. if one day you could fit the pants and then you reached into the pocket and grabbed all that money out of there? Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. That is so cool. I love it. So those yeah. pants weren't even in existence until after the book was thought about and came right. to fruition and you and and so those pants were literally on a model the model that the guy was wearing the pants he took the picture uh-huh. yep <laughs> that is so cool so. that is so cool i'm so i mean so you know i mean why is it good for everyone to read this book though i mean what is the principles behind it that makes it so special well i think everybody has money problems that- some time in their life and so <laughs> be nice just to think about not having to worry about money problems yeah and, uh, that, i mean uh, literally speaking i love the idea of the book i love that you have magic pants like you literally uh-huh. have magic pants you made the magic pants i mean you went uh-huh. above and beyond and that is so so cool so what age range is is good for this book well, I think probably anybody that needs money, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, younger people just starting out in life probably would mm-hmm. enjoy it. And maybe college kids or maybe even <clears throat> older high school kids, but also older retired people would find it fun. But I like it. I like it a lot. I want to thank you so much, Dwayne, for being on the show and for bringing your book on the show. I appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate that you went above and beyond with the magic pants. He's got the magic pants, y'all. He's got the magic. Can you show us one more time those magic pants? I have to see those again. I mean, I can't believe that you went and had someone make the magic pants. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Is okay. there money in the pocket? <laughs> oh, my money. Uh, so no far, whoops. So far, you you have to pray over those pants, man. You got to pray. Over <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, Dwayne, for being on the show yeah. and for bringing the book. And I want to go ahead and show you guys the book one more time. It's called The Ugly Magic Pants. And you guys can go ahead and go on Amazon and get that as well. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. And Dwayne, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you All for right. talking to me. Anytime. And until next time, guys, don't forget to dare to be different. Bye. This is not over. Urgently, in the back of the book, there is an ugly pants contest. 
Send your picture of your ugly pants right away. After just a few copies of the book are sold, they will be judged and the winner will receive 50% of the money collected from the book sales. There are important rules for this competition, so make sure you turn to the back of the book for the details. Thank you for watching, and may the best ugly pants win.